it's your girl down here and I'm coming at you today with something a little I wanted to have a YouTube channel that was consistent with my passion one of my one of my other passions is reading books I love 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 to read uh, and I know there are a lot of women out there or even men who share the same passion as I do and in looking on YouTube I saw that something that was lacking was uh, women or people in general who were giving book uh, what I want to try to do is to bring you at least four discussion topic questions from each book that I read um, along with maybe once a month uh, go ahead and give the title of the book that I'm going to read and maybe at the end of the month come back and give the review give the discussion questions and anybody who wants to respond or to continue the discussion can go ahead and make response uh, videos and attach it to the video for that particular book I'm going to be reviewing a book called Just Us and I read on my tablet so this is the book it's just I'm sorry Imagine Us by Maureen Smith. It's a Kimani romance book. Let me book. go ahead and give you the description. Um, it says, Nevea, which is how you pronounce her name, Nevea Simon has achieved success beyond anything in use beyond anything the Houston native could have imagined. And when Xavier Maine taps the world famous artist to design a mural his family owned, for his family owned community center, her fame comes full circle. Except Nevea shares a stormy history with the former bad boy. You know we love bad boys. <laughs> um, can she resist the suave and seductive entrepreneur's sensual assault and protect her heart this time around? This up from the street brother has never been able to stay away from the ambitious Texas beauty. 13 years apart, 13 years, okay? 13 years apart has only made Xavier's desire for Nevea even stronger and hotter. Hmm. Now that she's come back, he isn't letting her get away again. Together, they overcome the sins of the past and create their greatest masterpiece, a love meant to last for all times. <laughs> the character that I like the most, honestly, it would be a tie between the two main characters, which are Nevaeh and Xavier. And, but my, my, my favorite character would have to be Xavier because there's just so much that he overcame in his past. So many things and demons that he has that have haunted him. Um, and he overcame them to be, to overcome and to gain this level of success that uh, many people who have been through the same things that he went through are never able to accomplish. And in the same token, he never lost the love that he had for Nevea. And when she did come back into the picture 13 years later, um, he was unwilling <laughs> to accept the fact that it was over between them. He did whatever it took to win her trust and to win her love back. And for me, that makes him my favorite character. Um, my least favorite character in this book, I don't want to say because it's a twist in the book, that I don't want to give away. I don't necessarily want to spoil it for you guys, but there is a character <laughs> that from the beginning, I kind of had a weird feeling about, and you know when you have that weird feeling about a character in a book and it comes true? Well, for this particular person, and I'm not gonna say the name in case you do go out and read the book, <laughs> I'm not gonna say their name, but I did not like this person from the beginning. But I'm going to read to you what for me was one of the most pivotal, one of the most important moments in the book for me. Something that just leaped off the pages for me. Okay? And don't laugh at the glare on my glasses either. Okay? <laughs> okay, it says, When the number ended, a wave of appreciative cheers and applause swept over the audience. Grinning broadly, Nevaeh stole a side glance at Xavier, who looked adorably embarrassed by all the attention. 
Before she could stop to question the sudden impulse, she leaned over to kiss his cheek. Unfortunately, he turned his head at the same time. Their lips brushed. In, a, in, in that exhilarating instant, a rush of pleasure swept over her, touching her blood, torching her blood. As their eyes locked, every instinct screamed at Nevea to pull back before it was too late. But then Xavier angled his head slightly, molding his mouth to hers, and she closed her eyes, surrounding, surrendering with a low moan. His lips were even softer than she remembered, lush and unbelievably sensual. His hand came up, cupping the curve of her cheek as he deepened the kiss. He tasted like cotton candy and man sweet and decadently, decadently sinful. She quivered as he traced his tongue over her lips and licked the soft inner flesh of her, coaxing her to open for him. As he penetrated her mouth, a throbbing heat flooded her loins. Her panties stuck to the damp fold of her sex, causing her to press her thighs together. Oh, gosh, I love that. I absolutely love it. Why? Because when you're reading the book, you are just so anxious for this exact moment. And the way that this author writes, the way that she is able to get the emotion, get you to really feel and to, to get you to feel like you're there. Like you've just been waiting for this moment to happen. And I just really feel like the way that she described it and the words that she used they just exude passion and they they just you really feel the longing that these two have felt for each other and you really have to read the book from the beginning to understand how pivotal this moment is and it's the first time okay wait think back to your very first love ladies let's be real your very first love the man who still has the teensy weensy part of your heart. Well, for Nevea, that first love, it never went away for her. It never even died down. This man means just as much as to her now as he meant to her 13 years ago. And all of the hurt, all the pain that she went through, it all takes a back seat in this moment when they share their very first kiss for the first time in 13 years. Or of course, these are characters that we can identify with. We've all had our first loves, ladies. We have all had our first loves and some of them, all of them, <laughs> 99.9% of the time, they don't end the way that you necessarily want them to end. Um, but in the same token, you can never take back the emotion that you felt for your first love. I mean, your first love always stands out to you, whether you're friends now, whether you hate him, whether you married him. You know what it's like to go through the emotions of having your first love in your teens, in your early 20s, and losing it. Well, for this book in particular, is she gets it back. And it's just very interesting, you know? For those of us, because I know for me, I've been down that road to where you give a second chance and it doesn't work out the way that you necessarily want it to. You know, as women, we have these fairy tales, we have these things that we want to happen in our, in our love lives, and they don't necessarily work out that way. Well, in this book, it works out that way. Of course, it's a love story. It's a romance novel. It's gonna work out that way. But it's very relatable. Um, the author does a really good job of making you feel the emotion and um, of both characters. Because one of the things that I really, and this is going off the question, but one of the things that I really liked about this book is that it is written um, where both characters are present in the scene. It's not written in first person where it's I, I, I. No, it's written as Nevea and Xavier. So even when the two characters are in the same room, you don't have to flip or try to hurry up and get to the next chapter to see what the other, to see what the other uh, character is feeling. 
because they're present in the same chapter. what major emotion and I'm just gonna be honest because I want to be honest um, for me it just evoked this longing that we all of us women who are single or not married or not in a relationship that we have I mean that's why we read romance novels. We read, we read them because we want to see the fairy tale. We want to see people go through hard times and struggles in their relationships and then everything works out okay in the end. Well, for me, it's not necessarily that way right now. I'm in a state where that did not happen for me, where my the image of the relationship I wanted in my head was not the same as it was in reality. So for me, the book was a good getaway, but it evoked a lot of, of longing <laughs> in my heart that I have for the type of love and I read about. I mean, even if you are in a relationship or if you're in a marriage and you don't have the kind of passion that these two have, it's gonna evoke a longing in your heart for you to have this. I mean, th this book is very passionate. Um, the author, she, the way she writes, the way she articulates, the way the characters are feeling in this book, I mean, it's just absolutely wonderful. It it really pulls you in. It's, it's such a good read, guys. You guys really, really, really have to check this book out. I would say four stars out of five. I would give it four stars. Why four stars? Because it's, I have to deduct a few points for it being so short. Like I said, it's only 218 pages, in which a lot of the Kimani, a lot of the Kimani romance novels are not very long. But I feel for this one, while at one point I feel like the author did not have to elongate the story for us to get the point, because she's very quick to the point. Like, you don't have to wait. Like, <laughs> she's very quick to the point. I mean, the book just, it flows. But at the same time, there are just things in the book that I would have wished she would have elongated or would have taken further in the book. A few situations that she would have taken further. I wish I could say it. But I don't want to because I really, really, really want you ladies to read the book. And maybe we can have a discussion about it in the comments. But you have to read the book. It, it was $3 on Kindle. If you have an Android phone or an iPad, you can go to iTunes Store or Google Play. Download the Kindle app for free. And buy this book. I think I paid $2.99 for it. Or you can go to Walmart. You can order it off of Amazon.com. You can go to BlackExpressions.com. There are so many ways you can get this book. I know at Walmart in particular, a lot of the Kamani romance books are no more than five dollars. The next book that I'm going to have over the the next month, because I need time to reread it, and I know you ladies have been waiting for it. <laughs> I've had a lot of you ask me for it. I'm going to give the review for Justify My Thug, Waida Clark. If you watched my video before, in which I will attach it to this link about the Thug series books, well, there will be one that will be coming out next year, 2013. And don't believe she has an official date yet with the publisher because um, I do follow um, her newsletter, but we got the first chapter of the book. So not only in that video will I be giving you my review on Justify My Thug, but I will also do the letter from Trey Macklin, which I did read, and the response from uh, Tasha Macklin, which I have not read, and then shit just got real. The letter, I believe it's from Kayleen, 
Um, I have not read that read that letter either, but I know that Waida just did a live broadcast of that book, and maybe I mean of that particular letter. It's just a letter, maybe like one or two or three pages. Um, but it's $2.99 on Kindle for all of not all of them, but all of them individually. $2.99 on Kindle or your iTunes store, wherever you buy it from online. You can go on to uh, her website also, which I will post a link below to where if you want to read those. But I need to reread Justify My Thug before I give you a review on it because I read the book when it first came out. And I was in school, I didn't really have a chance to get on camera and give you my review for it. But I will do that, and then we will also go over the first chapter of the new book that will be coming out next year for Waida Clark. Um, so I hope you ladies make sure you check out Imagine Us by Maureen Smith and also make sure you subscribe and let me know if there are any books out there that you would like for me to or review to give my opinion on. Please let me know. I am ready to read. Like I'm ready to read. So if you are too, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment, share it with your friends. I love you ladies. Thank you for tuning in to The Literary Diva, your girl Danielle. Please check back, rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.